Tonight's Sea News HealthCast, there are new developments at a medical research laboratory in Tulsa. It is the only one of its kind studying a mysterious and controversial condition. Now, a well-known Oklahoma businessman is joining the fight. With money from T. Boone Pickens and another private donation, those believed to be suffering from Morgellons are hopeful for answers. Morgellons patients tell the same story. It starts with a biting sensation under their skin, open sores that won't heal, and fatigue. Many are diagnosed with delusions. Some are locked up in mental facilities and abandoned by their families. Doctor after doctor saying, well, there's nothing wrong with you. Stop scratching and, and you'll heal. Or, or even family or friends sometimes turning their backs on the person because they think that they're just obsessed with a condition that's not even a real condition. Dr. Randy Wymore at the OSU Tulsa Laboratory believes Morgellons is real. What makes some medical professionals skeptical is the fibers that look like string growing out of the skin. Four years ago, I would get multiple emails and phone calls a day from angry physicians telling me that I shouldn't be researching this. Many in the medical field believe the Morgellons patients planted the fibers under their own skin. They say the fibers are from clothing or furniture. But the crime lab at the Tulsa Police Department found that wasn't the case. They're really good at matching things, but if they're true unknowns, that's where you have to get into either more academic setting to try and... Uh, establish what they're made of. Dr. Wymore says the fibers could be a fungus, a parasite, or maybe bacteria. So is it contagious? He says probably not. Many families have only one member that's sick. In other households, the entire family is affected, even the pets. Until the fibers are identified, there is no treatment. As far as medications, um, not really. And that's the focus of, of my research, is to try and figure out what is the causative agent of this, because until you can figure out what the cause is, trying to d deal with the treatment, it's, it's quite a guessing game. 13,000 people in the U.S. report having these symptoms. The condition is so new that it hasn't been officially labeled a disease by the Centers for Disease Control. CDC scientists tell 2 News that their first Morgellon study is complete, but they aren't sure when the results will be released. For more information, log on to KGRH.com and click on Health. Well, hopefully